Hi, my name is Thomas Maurer. I'm a cloud advocate working at Microsoft. And in this short video, I'm going to show you how you can use the Azure Cloud Shell from Windows Admin Center. Okay, so here we are in the Azure portal. And many of you, you might know that we have the Azure Cloud Shell, which is basically a, a container we host for our customers in Azure, um, where there are a lot of tools and PowerShell modules um, are pre-installed, uh, like an admin workstation in the cloud. Now, you also can now run that in Windows Admin Center, and I'll show you that in a bit. But for those who don't know about Cloud Shell, uh, we're going to have a quick look how that looks like. So in the Azure portal, I just go up here um, and start Cloud Shell. And you will see here get a lot of window with cloud shell and basically it starts connecting um, through my cloud shell it logs in and creates all the things we already know um, about it but now i can use that also in windows admin center to do that i go to settings i go to um, extensions and here you can see here i have a lot of available extension i have a cloud shell preview extension here again it's still in preview um, but we can already use it. So let's click on install and this will automatically refresh uh, the Windows Admin Center page after the extension is installed. And if I now go in the top um, in the solutions tab, you can see here now I can open Azure Cloud Shell. And as you can see, it automatically starts requesting. Uh, we will need to log in the first time we're using it. So let's do that. Enter the code here and select the user account you want to log in with. And then I can close that page. And now it will take a couple of seconds to basically request my Cloud Shell. And this gives me exactly the same Cloud Shell experience as I had in the Azure portal or on shell.azure.com. Again, it takes a couple of seconds and you can see here, now I have my Azure Cloud Shell with PowerShell. So I can do a get ACVM uh, to see all my Azure VMs here. And you can see here, I get all my Azure VMs back. I can also do a couple of other things here. Um, so I can, for example, go and uh, change the font if I want to. I can also change the size. So for example, let's, let's go and make it large. You can see here. Uh, and then I can also switch to the Bash experience. So if, again, if you're familiar with Cloud Shell, you know that there is a PowerShell experience and a Bash experience, depending on what you like to use. Um, and if you switch here, you can again switch to the Bash experience. And then after a couple of seconds, we can now, for example, use commands like the uh, Azure CLI, for example, to manage our Azure resources. And now we can do that directly from within Windows Admin Center, uh, which is a great thing if you're a admin or a server admin, uh, you run Windows Admin Center, but you also need to manage a couple of these cloud resources. Uh, you can now do that from directly from Windows Admin Center. And this is especially great because Windows Admin Center offers a couple of hybrid Azure services and connections. So you can, for example, say, okay, I want to replicate my virtual machines running on Hyper-V to Azure. I can use Azure File Sync. I can use um, Azure Update Management to manage and update all my servers running across my own premise and my hybrid environment. And now I can also use Azure Cloud Shell directly uh, from Windows Admin Center. So I hope this was fun for you. Um, I will put all the links uh, to different blog posts and more resources about Cloud Shell and Windows Admin Center in the description below. So if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel and give a like. Uh, see you in the next one.